Jared, it was touched on earlier. Uh, Subi, you've had great success over the, a number of years. What's the approach uh, heading into 17? Uh, well, obviously, to uh, hopefully continue on with that success, um, it will be it will be a challenge for us. Um, as El alluded to before, there's been uh, a real transition of obviously those core type players leave the competition, and we'll be a young squad. Um, we lost some experience over the pre-season, um, but yeah, look, we'll uh, we'll look to uh, develop and uh, bring through some young kids that have been around the mark over the last couple of years. So it's going to be an interesting year for ourselves. Oh, look, I think uh, most clubs are trying to bring through the young Colts boys, trying to fast track them. Um, hopefully, get young kids drafted if they're good enough. Um, I think also, you know, you got to deal with the amateurs and the country footy. It's a strong comp out there, and it gets to a point also work commitments as well. As Billy said, you know, we've lost players. You know, just can't commit to the time that we demand of them um, to, to be able to juggle both. And there's a lot of kids also that are. You know that might be that 23 age that are in their last year of uni. You know we're experiencing that as well. So it's a real balancing act. Um, but you know there's still opportunities for other other players. How do you reflect on the grand final loss under the circumstances last year? We've moved on. <laughs> I'm obviously disappointing. We just weren't good enough on the day. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into the season and you know, gave ourselves an opportunity to uh, hopefully win. Win another flag, and we, we weren't good enough. And um, you know, it's well well documented how many players they had from from Freer, but we didn't use that as an excuse. We just purely weren't good enough on the day, and um, we we want to improve again. And um, yeah, the pleasing thing for me at the end of the year was that we gave it our best all year, and and they stayed strong. The boys, um, I think we had five to six guys play in their first grand final. Of those players, they were all local product, which was good. And um, yeah, we gave other guys opportunities to. Um, you know, to be there as well. So, look, we uh, we moved on pretty quickly from it. The boys have trained hard over the pre-season and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be yeah, around the mark again. Jared, would you say this is one of the most unknown seasons you've been involved in across the board? Uh, I, th I think it will be. I think it'll be pretty even. Um, you know, the, the alignment sides will be there. They'll always be there because they're strong. Um, I think it's fantastic that Peel, you know, are, are really up there now. You know, um, we look at the Claremonts, you know, they've got a strong list having won two grand finals in the Colts and Reserves. And so you can go through, I can go through every side. You know, there's a real transition and, you know, you're going to have to be at your best to uh, to win those 13 to 14 games to be there. So we're under no illusions as a footy club that, you know, you have to be on every game. Um, so uh, it's exciting for the competition. It's an exciting brand. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get a lot of support into the waffle for it. Yes, you. <laughs> um, no, look, I've, I've said it before, you know, we had Matty Bolan a couple of years ago, we had Shane Yaron and we were able to rebuild um, our forward line. You know, we feel, you know, as Billy said, he's, he's got, well, we've got a few more Ruckman to pick from this year. We haven't had a Ruckman really for the last three years that's been on the park long enough. So we're looking to young fellas like Dave Madut, Jordan Bestry, um, these type of players, Damon Guinness. Um, to, to hopefully hold up the fort there, which allows us to play, you know, your Della Hunties and your Wheel of Ford more. Obviously, Liam, he's well documented, he's a talent, but it's going to be a big challenge for him to be able to back up um, from such a good year last year, coming into the competition for the first time. But we look at Cole Halligan being a new recruit, you know, had 12 months out. Um, we're looking to have him back in the next couple of weeks. So that's a real positive for us. Uh, but you've got to look to evolve in the side, and we, we, we feel like we've done that over the pre-season, so we'll have a different mix. Yeah, um, Corey's an interesting one. Um, you know, obviously hasn't played a lot of footy over the last three or four years in terms of just the actual knowledge of it. You know, was probably unlucky to be to be delisted, but um, wanted to come to us as an opportunity um, to to further himself. And I look I look at someone like him that is still raw in the game. Um, he, you know, he's an explosive type player that can play at various positions, but feel like we want to try and sell him down in a couple of positions and um, and give him every opportunity to uh, to really showcase his his, his natural talent.